Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I am here to talk about and review Mr. Brooks. If you can see that, Mr. Brooks is a 2007 film that was directed by Bruce A. Evans. And I know some people might be thinking, first of all, what is this movie? Because you probably never heard of it. Trust me, before very recently, I never heard of this movie either. And two, why are you reviewing it? Why it's so random? Well, I was at Best Buy not that long ago with my girlfriend, and she, when she saw this on the shelf, she highly recommended it, like went crazy, like you need to buy this, you need to watch it, let's watch it right then and there. And I, you very rarely see her react to a movie like that, so I said, okay, fine. It was like, what? It was like maybe three, four bucks. So I bought it, we watched it, and... This film, you see Kevin Costner as Earl Brooks, who is a serial killer. He's been a serial killer for a very, very long time. You see uh, that he's been battling, not wanting to kill people. He hasn't done it for a while until he finally indulges. And in indulging this urge, when he does kill somebody, somebody else takes a picture of it. It sort of gets out there, and he gets caught up in the crossfire of not only one person blackmailing him, but another detective trying to catch him, and, and it's, it's a whirlwind of, of craziness going on as far as him trying to retire, subdue the murder side, keep his innocence. What I think of Mr. Brooks is, I really enjoyed this movie. I did. I didn't really know what to think of it, honestly. I didn't know if it would just be like a thing where like, okay, well, she liked it, so it exists. But I am glad that I bought it. I am glad that I watched it. First of all, Kevin Costner, you can't go wrong with him in a movie. Clearly, he's going to be really good, and he was really good here. It was interesting to see him be that dark and be that just have that dark twisted side to him because I thought he pulled that off well along with trying to maintain this proper uh, clean life and his job and his family and whatnot he does have a wife he does have kids and I like that I liked how he was keeping that together he has an alter ego so whenever he's by himself or even if he is with other people his alter ego is in the car with them or is constantly talking to him. Kind of like the devil on their shoulder telling him that he does need to feed. He does need to kill. He needs to get it out of his system. It's good for him. He'll feel better. And that, and that alter ego is played by William Hurt. I think you probably could have got away with having Kevin Costner play that himself since it is him technically inside of them his alter ego but i did like seeing william hurt here he's another great actor so can't go wrong putting another good actor in this dane cook plays mr smith mr smith is somebody who just so happens to take a picture of kevin costner as he commits that murder in the beginning and so he uses that leverage to kind of buddy up to him and sort of want to learn from him and maybe he wants to become a murderer himself and seeing Dane Cook play a role like that I haven't seen every Dane Cook movie sure but the ones that I have seen it's comedies and it's him being very goofy and over the top so it was nice to see him I guess in a more serious movie and a more dark type film I thought he did a good job for what he had to do uh, Demi Moore plays Detective Atwood, and Demi Moore, I guess, is another actress that I I don't uh, recall seeing a lot of her films. Maybe, maybe one or two, Ghost for sure, and uh, maybe another one I'm forgetting. But she was really good here. She's this really hard ass cop who who has been through it, has has done what she does, and she does it well, catching bad guys, going after them. She's been on this killer in particular for a very long time, so it means a lot to her trying to catch it. She also has this, this ex-husband, or she's going through a divorce, so you have that drama going on in her life. I just, I, I found her to be very good, and, and it made me even be curious about maybe checking out some of Demi Moore's other movies, if I can. And... Also, Kevin Costner has a daughter, like I said, Jane, played by Danielle Panabaker. And I liked her side plot because she's away in college. She comes back home. There's some discrepancy on whether or not somebody else in her college was murdered. And so Kevin Costner's trying to figure out, is my daughter becoming a killer like me? 
If so, what do I do? Do I protect her? Do I help her? Or do I stop her? And, and that's just, that was a side plot that I wasn't expecting to get brought in. There's a lot going on in this movie that never makes it boring, next, never makes it uh, unbearing, or, or you always find yourself into what's going on and, and, and find yourself kind of guessing on what's going to happen next. These are based off of books. And uh, originally they wanted to do a trilogy, two more sequels. And the way that the movie ends, you can maybe see the direction that they were possibly going to go with. But overall, you can't just have it end the way that it does. And it's, it's enough closure for me because clearly we never got sequels. It's just I don't really know what happened. I don't know if it didn't make enough money or if there wasn't enough interest in it. I would have watched them though if they did come out, but they didn't. Anyways, guys, if you haven't seen Mr. Brooks, I'm going to assume that you haven't, I would recommend this. I would say check it out if you can. And if you have seen it, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Do you like it? Is it underrated? Underappreciated? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!